This is the We Are T1D podcast, and my name is Mike. My name is Jack. And this week we are celebrating World Diabetes Day. Happy birthday, Frederick Banting. <laughs> uh, happy birthday, mate. And we're going to do a special this week. We're going to do listener wins, but celebrating major parts of diabetes or just something that matters to you. Full of wins. Yeah. Full of wins this week. Full of wins. God, you are full of wind, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Right. But we're going to be deadly serious. Nah. That don't work, mate. But we're going to start with our wins and struggles as usual. Roll the jingle. We're not struggling, let's talk about it. So, Jack, what, what's your win this week? Uh, my win is not nothing to do with diabetes at all. But I finally bought a PlayStation 5. Oh, I'm my so God. Happy. After six months of debating it, he'd done it, guys. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> it was literally six months of hovering my finger over the buy button. But, yeah, I finally got one. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> I'm a PC gamer, but... <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm I'm happy now. Got me PlayStation. That's good. What's your win? My win is probably having 160 grams of carbohydrate like with my pasta and not going high wow. or low. And then also having bangers and mash, a lot of mash, not going high or low. It's basically weighing my food, I think. I think that's my win this week. You actually started weighing your food? Only like carby things like chips pasta and mash anything mm. potato or, or pasta you think it's carbs it, bro no 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 there's no carbs in a pork chop fuck off well, that is true do you <laughs> weigh bread no I don't weigh bread do you weigh chocolate roses <laughs> yeah I do bro and what I don't think anywhere else in the world you're going to hear a conversation that starts with do you weigh your bread <laughs> no <laughs> But yeah, that's that's my win. Anyway. What's your struggle, Jack? Uh, my struggle uh, again was um, the Libra Center this week. Why? What happened? Uh, well, I changed it as normal. What run it? What put in your elbow? I'm not surprised, mate. You need to put in the fleshy part. Yeah, it was in the fleshy part, not the elbow. Scrape it on your arm? No. Okay. Well, I've run it up, but I've run it up the back of my arm to find the center and find my spot. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I um, I put it in. It bled, but. For a couple of days, it was actually a pretty good, it was like pretty spot on. For a couple of days? Uh, yeah, literally for a couple of days. And then it just went haywire. I kept telling me I was, I actually had letters, not numbers, telling me I was low. Oh. And I was doing finger pricks and I was like 6.7. Oh, that's, that's just your sense of being polite, mate. It's saying, hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 hello, Jack. <laughs> oh man! Well, I didn't. I didn't say hello back. <laughs> no, I, 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 I told it to fuck off a couple of times. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was annoying. I was, I persevered with it during the night. I got it. I got him. Like I, I don't know what happened or what I done to it, or it's, I ain't got a clue. But it 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 worked during the night, and then I woke up again, and it was just it was like four or five. Out the whole time. Yeah, that's. So I was just like, I'm, I'm ripping it off. Fuck that. Did you report it to Libra? No, it's. I haven't thrown the sensor away yet. I am meaning to. So I still had seven days left on that. I think. Oh. So um. Yeah, I want a bloody new one. Yeah, get a bloody new one, mate. I will. You tell him. I will. When I actually get round to bringing it back. Yeah. Next year. Yeah. Probably. What's your struggle? Trying to record a podcast while eating this chicken wing. Yeah, you sound a bit (laughs) slappy, bro. I didn't want to say anything. (laughs) No, well, apart from that, um, my struggle has been always going going low before I drive. So like in the mornings before I go to work and then I'm late to work. So they're probably used to it now, but still, I don't mean to be late. Yeah. It's out of my control. I don't want to lose my driving license because I'm driving hypo. So, mm. yeah. So you either wait or you make me walk to work, you bastards. <laughs> and hypo. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, um, it always tends to be at like the most inconvenient times, doesn't it? Yeah, man. You could tell I'm eating my chicken because I said, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, no. You never, you never say, yeah, man. Never. No, that's <laughs> not even me. <laughs> I got chicken chop, chicken shop vibes. 
Yo, what are you saying, man? What are you dude? eating? Man's got some chicken wing. What? Chicken wing. <laughs> yes, bro. Well, I'll, I'll finish how them many, later. How many wings you have, bro? I've had two. How many you got left? One. Oh, I was going to say I'll come round, but that's not worth it. No, I wouldn't bother, mate. I'm not sharing a wing. You have to pass the shop to get here anyway. You might as well go shop. <laughs> that's got, I'll bring some more wings, bro. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Let me pre bolus. <laughs> no, I'll just text you when I'm out your door, bro. That's your pre bolus time, isn't it? No, to be fair, I've done eight minutes pre bolus on this chicken. It comes a bit sooner than I thought. <laughs> it's just eight minutes. Eight minutes. And I'll, I'm five I'm five point three now. I'm five point three. Let's see where it goes by the time we finish recording. Alright, yeah, cool. I've I've had a chicken fillet burger, I've had a whole bag of chips and two Hot wings so far. How many units did you do? 16. I was trying to work it out in my head. That's probably not far off, actually, bro. Yeah, I always do 16 for takeaway. Same with Chinese, just do 16. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> magic number. <laughs> 16 is the magic number. I always just like, sort of, I weigh it. I was going to say, well, <laughs> what do you do? Get your scales out? <laughs> yeah, I'll do. I'll do. I went, I went to my brother's house for a Chinese on the weekend and I actually took my scales to his house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's probably uh, used to it to be fair but... <laughs> yeah the... imagine going to a it... restaurant right and just tipping all your chips onto the scale mate I need to know how many carbs are in these <laughs> I'll just order them be like bro you got scales in the kitchen yeah why <laughs> alright I want 100 gram of chips I want, <laughs> I want 120 grams of beans <laughs> and I will be checking it <laughs> right so let, let's get into these wins Jack because we've started waffling mate let's do it yeah we have let's do this yo let me begin because it's time, time for the listener win you and them bloody jingles i just want to hear the wins let's hear it it's a special we have the amazing marion her win is having my son at 26 weeks and lucky we both survived i'm a strong lady yes you are marion yes you are wow well done that is a good win. Yeah, definitely. All right, ne- next up, we have got Louise, and she says, getting my ketones down whilst being poorly this weekend, a side of diabetes no one sees. Yeah. 100%. Well yeah. done for getting them down, Louise. That's, um... Yeah, well done. Very, it's, it's very important to keep your ketones down. I know how I get them down. I don't know if you do it the same way, but... Yeah. It's horrible. Not good. But yeah, well done, Louise, for getting him down. Yeah. Uh, next up, we... Oh, fuck's sake. Next up, we have... We have Megan. Oh, actually, it's not a cat. Right, so... Finding We Are T1D podcast and keeping you entertained with my cat. <laughs> fuck's <laughs> sake, he is a cat. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. Yeah. We're happy to have Thank- you a part of it. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Thank you for keeping us entertained every week as well. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah well done for finding us yeah I don't know how you found us <laughs> oh. keep the cat emojis coming Megan we love them yeah 100% alright next up we've got Harrison and say learning so much about diabetes since finding the podcast and not feeling alone yeah I feel that wow thank you thank you Harrison and yeah no one's alone. No, nah, no. Nah. I've well, since we've been doing this, I've never felt alone. And the little uh to say like the little community that we've built over this is uh just mad mental. Yeah. All right, next up we have Grace. She says, Never feeling alone when I listen to the podcast. You guys are bloody nuts. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you nutter. You bloody nutter. You nutter. You bread and butter. I silly spat Pepsi Max over my microphone. Don't do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Right, next we've got Freaky Lass. Oh, and uh, she, she says... <laughs> <laughs> she says, listening to you has helped me not to fear highs, but try to understand and move forward. And the podcast has helped me learn more and know that I am not alone in this. Wow. Wow. Thank you so yeah. much, everyone. Yeah, thank you. It's supposed to be your wins. Stop. You're talking about us. Stop it. Well, yeah, but it's it's really nice to think like you ask people for a win and the first thing that comes to their head is saying that they've found us and learned so much from us. Like, that's 
that's just mental. Yeah, actually, yeah. Wow. Well, thanks, Freaky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, we have Nikki. She goes, my son accepting the condition he has for the rest of his life. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, well done. Well done. Yeah. Psst. It's a uh, it's a hard thing to accept it, but oh, don't I know it? Yeah, uh, the quicker you do, the easier it is to live with, I suppose. That no, that is the best advice you can give anyone that's just got diabetes. The quicker you accept it, the easier it is. That's mm. probably any condition, not just diabetes. Yeah, I suppose, yeah, it is, isn't it? It is. But like, it's nothing is going to cure it, so we just have to make do with what we've got and be the best version of us. Yeah, accept it, embrace it live it 100 mm-hmm. percent all right next we've got sarah she says being a part of a wonderful t1d community yeah that's yeah 100 percent. yeah that's um it's been a massive thing since i don't think i'd be where like, I, I, as i say everyone knows i've only been i've not even had diabetes a year yet it's nearly nearly a couple of weeks yeah not long no nah, not long but it's um I don't think I'd be where I am today with the confidence I have today without you and the community. No, they're brilliant. They've helped me out of some ruts as well. Like, yeah. It's brilliant. It's just so... It's wholesome. That's the word I'm looking for. It's wholesome. Mm, mm. So thank you, the community. Yeah, thank you. All right, next up we have Michael finally catching up on all the episodes of the podcast. It is so crazy hearing how Mike, great name by the way, has transformed <laughs> his diabetes. <laughs> I would say Jack has pushed him in the right direction. Do you know what? 100%. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really hot bit of chicken. Is I need to drink. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. So, yeah, thank you, Michael. And you're 100% right. Jack, Jack has pushed me in the right direction. He's the one that probably more helped my acceptance because he accepted his straight away. And, and it made me realise that what the fuck am I doing? Even though my wife had been telling me for years. But I'm a stubborn shit and I don't listen to people. I need to make up my own mind. So, yeah. Thanks, Aww. Michael. And thanks, Jack. And thanks, Michael. And thanks, Michael. <laughs> Both Mike, Max. Mike, Two Max. Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> oh, fuck. You I haven't do... seen it, have you? Nah. Obviously Find, not. Finding Nemo. You know when the seagulls go, mine, mine, mine. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just didn't click in my head. Yeah. I have seen it. I remix it to Mike. Mike, 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 Mike. Oh, just... <laughs> Now he gets it, he finds it funny, fucking wanker. <laughs> How can you be you proper praise me and then call me a wanker? Yeah, that's that's kind of love we have, Jack. All right, fuck you too. Oh, cutie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, next up we have got Victor and he says, fucking diabetes, one needle at a time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I love the attitude. <laughs> That's brilliant. I can just imagine him doing each injection. Fuck you, diabetes. Turn another one. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I will oh, live through this. Fuck you too. <laughs> Fuck you know. Yes. I <laughs> love the attitude, bro. That is wicked. Uh, I... Because his name's Victor, I'm picturing him as a Viking. I don't know why. Yeah, that's very weird. Yeah, sorry, Victor. I've just killed your whole image. <laughs> Victor the Viking. That might be where I got it from. I don't even know Victor the Viking. His brother just made that up. No, it just goes. It's a good name. Oh, all v- right. Viking Vic. <laughs> sorry, mate. Sorry. Right, anyway, next next we have Millie. <laughs> they go doing my best to stay alive. <laughs> Fuck you, diabetes! <laughs> yes! yes Millie. Everyone's on a fuck you vibe, I love it! Oh No, she didn't even say that, I just added it. <laughs> oh, did, did she not? What, no. what was her actual thing then? I'm doing my best to stay alive. Yeah, hey, yeah you are. Yeah, you are. That's what we all are doing. We're all doing our best to stay alive. Oh, could you imagine? I just, I've just got in my head we start a trend like on Instagram or something where someone does a jab and just goes, Fuck you, diabetes! <laughs> <laughs> like everyone just posting it in their stories. I'll be yeah. dying if that happened. Oh. Start it, bro. We are T1D hashtag. Fuck you, diabetes. Yep, yeah, right. If anyone starts it, me and Jack are joining. <laughs> and I might actually do my first injection in my arm. Ooh, ooh. Austin ain't done that yet, bro. 
No, nah, normally that's some scary shit. Yeah, I'm only a year in. You've had it 26 years. Oh, mate. Make me feel old. No, hey, you're not old. But if you ain't that far in front of me, mate, come on, let's be real. All right, I'm young. Exactly. Yay. You're only as young as you feel. Young, dumb. Young, young, dumb and broke. I feel like I've broke down 60-year-old man that's been doing manual labour all his life. I thought he was going to say <laughs> broke down high school kid. I've... <laughs> <laughs> what do you have a chicken oh, wing I'm a Pepsi I'm really thirsty I, just get, <laughs> I keep drinking at inconvenient times and I just choked oh uh, you okay yeah I'm alright just having another bit of drink alright I do that I'm going to have a bit more wing <laughs> right well while he crunches away next up we've got Rachel and she says you guys inspired me to stay active and I have now lost a stone what my control fuck? is so much better too Wow. wow. Well done, Rachel. That is absolutely brilliant. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Again, like I, I honestly can't believe we're doing this to people, man. Yeah. Like, I've said it before. We are literally just two idiots. Yeah, definitely he is an idiot. Yeah. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I'll vouch for it, man. I'll agree. I don't go. I am an idiot. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mad. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that is really mad. Right, next up we have Charlotte. Goes, my win is insulin because without it, my four-year-old wouldn't be here. Wow. Yeah. Do you know what? That's my win as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why have we never thought about that? Is that a win? What, insulin? No, yeah, because it's true though, isn't it? Like, yeah. If it weren't for that, we literally would we'd all be screwed. Right, Frederick Banting, thank you for yeah. insulin. I can't remember the other doctors, sorry. But yeah, World Star Beatties Day is because it's his birthday. Did you know that? Ah, ah. I might have said it last week, but ah. Yeah, you did. That was, that was a question on the quiz. Well, you guys knew the answer then. I bloody didn't. You did, you got it right. Oh, did I? Yeah, because I gave you options. You just winged the whole bloody quiz. You winged it more than my dinner. I didn't do that bad, though, did I? No, you didn't. I won. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't win. I did. Okay, you won. Next. <laughs> right, next up we've got Tom DC, and he says, CGM, the best thing in 26 years. Yeah. Yeah, totally agree. Wait, you've had diabetes the same amount of time as me? Are you, are you my diet twin? Tom oh, wow. DC, are you my diet twin? Could be. Could be. Let me know, Tom. He might know his, I bet he knows his anniversary though. Oh, fuck off. Mine's September. <laughs> Just celebrate a whole month, bro. Well, they do it for World Diabetes Day. They do the whole month now. Exactly. Now you can do a World Diabetes Michael Day, and then you can have a World Diabetes Michael month. Yeah, but September ain't that great, really. Why couldn't it be in the summer? Oh, uh, well, just do it in the summer, it's, then. Wait, it's the end of summer. Mike Fest. Oh, Mike Fest. Sounds like an MC battle. There's going to be loads of rappers. <laughs> Not chocolate ones, because <laughs> we're diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave them around me, because I will weigh them. <laughs> It's funny because he's not joking. <laughs> I'm not. I'm fully not. I will, I will come to your house and weigh your chocolates. <laughs> that is mad. Right, next. Type 1 Food Lover goes, I'm thankful for you guys. Listening to the two of you talking about T1D makes me feel less alone with this. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Another one. Yeah. You guys are too nice to us. Stop it. Like, there literally. you are. Literally. Stop being nice. <laughs> no, it's, um, thank you. Honestly, I know we keep saying it like, after every one, but it's, honestly, we can't thank you enough because... No, it honestly makes us feel really good. It does. It actually does. Really, really big edit. Yeah, like, I'm grinning. I go to work and that, like, bro, everyone likes me. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, fuck off, Jack, no one likes you here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, that's probably what they're fucking saying as well. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's so nice. Oh, man. Oh, we've got Maria, and she just said CGM. Next up, we have Laura. Not letting T1D hold me back from anything except driving, as waiting to be five is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It is. That's, that's, it is. That's literally it, me it, every it, morning and... Afternoon. Yeah, I'll do it all. So it seems to be nine, like nine times out of ten when I get in the work van, ready to leave my site, my love alarm will go off. Yeah, mine's going to work and leaving work. I just thought, right, 
Imagine I had to pick the kids up from school when they were younger. Yeah. What, what if I couldn't go because I was low? Hello? Mm. What are you eating? Chicken. Uh, I just well, keep taking well, a nibble every so often. <laughs> yeah, you go for it, mate. I'll pick the next one. Nice, uh... Jamie Louise. Ah, ah, fuck it's hot. Be right back. I need a new drink. <laughs> what? Dr. Pepper, what's the worst that could happen? It's not sugar free and you're diabetic. Yeah, you, yeah, I was just about to say that you could drink one that ain't sugar free. Right, next up, we have Jamie Louise. That's my daughter. It is. All right, she says, Dad learning to control his diabetes so I don't have to save his life. <laughs> with a little winky face cheers Jamie <laughs> oh, well done Jamie yeah. <laughs> and she has saved my life twice so thanks Jamie oh, oh yeah we've, uh, we spoke about that in the hypo stories didn't we episode what number four really testing my memory I reckon it was rep- episode four I think it was four yeah we should do another actually I ain't got no crazy hypos anymore no I haven't really I've had a few bad ones, but nothing really crazy has happened apart from just me vegging out on the floor. Yeah, just staring out into distance, not what's got, not paying attention yeah. to anything. No, not at all. Zoe's sitting there going, do you need anything? And I'm just looking at her. Oh, I do that to Amber sometimes. She's talking to me and I'm just staring, not responding. She gets so fucking angry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her getting angry and I'm trying to respond to it and I'm like, no, nah, it ain't work. <laughs> You just can't put a sentence together, can you? No, it's weird. It's just like, it's like you're numb. But your brain does still work. It's weird. Yeah, it's just not very well. Everything's slow-mo. <laughs> Do you need a Coke? No. But <laughs> 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 right, next up, we have Ashley, my other daughter. She goes, my dad has stopped stressing at me because he has patterned his time in range. Yes, yes, Ashley, down with the lingo and that. Yeah. Do you want to explain the lingo, Jack? Patterned means like you've sorted it out. You've got it patterned. You've got it sorted. Ah, oh, I got good patterns, yeah, Ash? In it, fam. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Ain't no stripes on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next up, we've got Amber, the missus. Wifey. Finally, Michael accepting his diabetes and actually talk about it without him stressing. And he has his partner in crime, Jack, who has helped him massively over the past year. Yeah. Well, thank you, Amber. That's You've so really true. helped me over the past year as well, mate. Nah, you don't understand though, mate. I, she used to tell me stuff about my diabetes, like, like a bit of random information, which is right. I used to stress, no, 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 no. Like, I just used to go on a mad one. Don't talk about diabetes. I don't want to talk about diabetes. I ain't got diabetes, but I have, but I haven't. You know what I mean? I was just a dickhead. Wow. Yeah, mate. I was When I say I was in denial, I was in denial. Like, wow. I knew I had That's it. mad. Always injected and that, but just I was just... Didn't want to talk about it. And now look at now look at me. <laughs> In it. Now, now, now look at us. That's mad. Yeah. Thank you, Amber. Next up, we've got Joey D. A1C below 15% for the first time in a couple of years. Now 10%. Wicked. Well done. That's brilliant. That is good. That's another thing. That is a, that's a very important thing with type ones. What's that? Percentages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, A1C. No, you're A1C. A1C. Oh, I just done some more units to keep my A1C down. That's not how it works, man. I just done it. What are you doing more units for, bro? Fucking going high. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Loads. 9.9. Oh. Uh, but I'm still going to eat more chicken. <laughs> oh. Mmm. So good. I said that, didn't I? I didn't want to jinx it, but usually when you flatland and stay stiff with me, it just goes mad yeah and then i'll go low later and i have a protein yogurt and then i'll be fine nice seems like you got it pattern bro in it fam man <laughs> got this pattern <laughs> in it <laughs> <laughs> all right next up we've got maria again oh. and she said coming out of burnout when i first got my libra in 2017 well oh. done yeah well done it's mad isn't it how like little tiny tiny piece of equipment has changed 
so many people's lives. Yep. People who had diabetes before the census, you're probably quite similar to me, to be fair. Life was a burnt out. I don't know how you do it. Well, you uh, prick your finger, put it on a meter, and then uh, gives you your reading. <laughs> But the thing is, no one yeah. liked to prick their finger to get their reading, so... No, I didn't. I only had to do it for, like, two months. I was told to do that six times a day. Yeah, I was... Well, it was like, every time you eat, innit, really, before and after. Yeah, well, that'd be eight. We eat four meals a day? Yeah, uh, sometimes. Fatty? Yeah, if you want some chicken. I'd love a bit of chicken. But I've just had half a Kit Kat. I've still got my chicken piece here. And I've just checked my bloods and I'm 5.4, so I'm having the other half. You do it, mate. I'm going for it. Mmm. Mmm. Chicken and Kit Kats, the podcast of just listening to people eat food. Chicken, this is ASMR, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is how professional and laid back we are, guys, don't we? Yeah. We're diabetic. We've got, well, you're definitely not treating a hypo. I'm preventing a hypo by eating before it gets there. I'm preventing a hypo by not going low. You're just raging and eating. Yeah, man. <laughs> Again with a year, man. <laughs> I've got chicken in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm 15 again. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Pattern, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've only actually got a couple. We're coming to the end of this. We've only got a couple of wins left. All right. Well, next up, we have uh, the Flu Tribe. I think her name's Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte. My memory's Flood good. Tribe. Oh, that says Flood, doesn't it? Yeah, not fl- Flu. <laughs> <laughs> Right, next up we have the Flood Tribe. Goes, my four-year-old injected himself. Chokes me every time. Wow. Yeah, yes. wow. That's, uh... That's a brilliant win. It's mad. I, could, I couldn't imagine one of my kids injecting herself. Although I do it, I don't want to see it. Does that make sense? Is that selfish? Yeah. I don't know. Is that selfish? No, well done anyway. Yeah, brilliant. But last but not least... We've actually got my wife and... Um, my wife? <laughs> my wife. She, she sent in an essay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, so she says, she says, I only have ever known about type 2 diabetes because my dad has it, but it's taken me nearly a year to understand the difference and how T1D works due to you both. Says, Jack, my win will always be the same. I'm just proud of you and the confidence each day, week, month that you're showing. It's not always happy days and I do want to throttle you half the time. (laughs) (laughs) A year into this new life and finally starting to live life like we should and not letting diabetes control you. Yeah. Well, Well done. She's written one for you, Michael. What? Yep. It goes on. Says Michael, firstly, my win is being there for Jack since literally day one. Not quite sure how he would have coped if he didn't reach out to you. But mainly my win, I'd say how you've changed the ways of living with diabetes over the last six or so months. It's nice to see you both using your platforms to better yourselves mentally and physically with T1D, but yet still be yourselves. Oh, well. Thanks, Zoe. It goes on. The fuck you wrote more? (laughs) Yeah, I told you it's an essay. But there's, it's literally the last bit and it says to both of you. <laughs> oh, it's a joint one now. Yeah, it's a joint one. It says the biggest win I think of all is the community you have made and built with We Are T1D. The advice, laughs and stories you provide week in, week out for the last 31 weeks to everyone living with T1D is enough to make not only yourselves proud, but us wives and family members too. Never doubt yourselves. You are doing a smashing job. Thank you, babe. I think this is a third clap. Yeah, that's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. I don't know what to say. So I went from jokey to wow. Yeah. (laughs) And it's not because I finished my chicken. (laughs) No, oh, wow. Right. To everyone that has taken time this week or previous weeks to submit your wins. Do you know what? It just means so much to have that interaction. Because I think yeah, I'd say one of the hardest things with diabetes is speaking about it. It's not easy, yeah. especially to strangers or even just social media. It's not easy to do. So well done to everyone out there that is living with Type 1 or type 2 diabetes, just diabetes in general, because you guys are amazing. Just well done. This this claps for you lot. 
So yeah, oh, that wraps it up for this week, Mike. Yeah, we're doing it. We're just ending it. Yeah. I thought, oh, I don't know. Well, what else you want to talk about? Well, my chicken was very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say. But to be fair, my uh. I'm still munching through this Kit Kat, and it is really good. What do you think of the episode, Jack? Do you think it's a good episode? Well, yeah. Do you think they think it's finger licking good? Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even have KFC. I had Tams. Fuck KFC. Oh, he's putting it out there. I still need to eat these famous Tams. He does. Right, yeah, let's wrap it up, Jack. Go on. Yeah, thank you very, very much for joining us this week, people. Oh, that's an extra very. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a special one. Very, very special. It's a very, very, very special one. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week. Yeah. Um. Honestly, thank you so much for everyone. Like Michael said, thank you everyone for taking part. Yeah. Yeah. See you later, guys. Um. We shall be back next week. Same time, same yes. place. And I won't be eating chicken next week, don't worry. No, I'll try not to be eating Kit Kats, but I can't promise nothing. Snacker Jack will be eating something. Of course, I think I've eaten something every episode, haven't I? Yeah, I think you have actually, mate. To be fair. I might go through the episodes and listen. Actually, no, fuck that. It's long. Like 32 hours. Jack's Jack's food diary. Just podcast edition. That's a (laughs) spin-off. It's a spin-off, bro. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. (laughs) How much does all the food you've eaten on the podcast weigh altogether? Do you know what? I I could actually work that out, you know. (laughs) I could fully work that out. But I'll say that's at minimum with this episode, that's 32 hours of episode I would have to go through. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. So if someone is, if people listen to us back to back. Well, um, Michael did, didn't he? Well, you reckon he done 31 hours straight like a gangster? Maybe. Just better LucasAids. Oh, no, he's diabetic, isn't he? LucasAids zero. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> let's get out of it oh yeah let's go I, f- I forgot we was recording <laughs> oh no I'm just gonna leave it on there they can listen to the waffle we do right. yeah. see you later guys bye bye <laughs>